and I'm gonna be like, wait, have I gone through this door already? And then I'll be like, oh shit, yeah, I did go. Who, bro? Who the fuck put Michael Jackson in the freezer? Yo, who the fuck put Michael Jackson in the freezer? The fuses are missing, but is that a crayon? Honestly, bro, I'm trying to figure out the same thing. Who the fuck put a crayon in the fuse box? <laughs> Hey, have you ever, like, just thought that you knew everything that there is to know about your family? Have you actually taken a second to think that you truly know the secrets behind your family? Well, if you have yourself a camera that can somehow rewind time or fast forward a moment, you might want to use that because that camera could actually be the key to figuring out everything that you thought you knew, but you really don't. <laughs> hey yo, what's poppin' party people? I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube. And welcome to Tape, Unveil the Memories. This game, low key has like a special place in my heart because way back in I think like 2017, 2018, I actually played the demo for this. Um, on my channel before I deleted everything and rebranded like if you are new to this channel and didn't know I Started making YouTube videos way back in 2015 I like used to prop my phone up and like would record my TV screen or whatever it was I was playing and I actually had like no editing skills whatsoever no care in the world about any of my videos But I posted them because it was fun. I've been doing this shit since 2015 on God um, but I did end up playing Tape Unveil the Memories, the demo, back when it was on like Game Jolt or Itch.io, whichever one of those two. I can never remember. It doesn't even matter. But um, I played the demo and even the developers, Black Chili Goat, like uh, commented on that video. And I've been following this game since the moment I posted that video. And I'm so glad to see that this game actually came out. Because I didn't think that it was going to happen. I'm sorry to hoe you guys, Black Chili Goat. But I didn't think that this game was ever going to come out. And I'm actually, like, low-key really glad that it's here. So, without further ado, let's just, let's hop right into it! Sensitive content and trigger warnings. Uh, so there you go. That's your only, that's your only warning. <laughs> here we go. The Umbria Reservoir was built in 1960 due to the flo uh, flooding the valley that gives it its name. The inhabitants and in, I cannot read. The inhabitants of the flooded villages were relocated in a, to a small town of An Antumbria, nearby Iria, Iria, and her mother, Susanna, now live in a humble house near the reservoir, which I assume is this house right here. Okay. Let's go. I haven't seen y'all in like a week. How y'all doing? Did you enjoy the Lego Star Wars video? I've been playing the sh out of that game. I don't know why I just censored myself. I'm trying not to swear as much in my videos. You know, I'm trying to make this as uh, as everyone friendly as possible. Uh, so this is made by a Spanish-speaking company. So we do have English subtitles, but I think um, it's going to be in Spanish. Like, the, the voices are going to be in Spanish. This, I think. Yeah, okay. We should be fine. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna stress about it. Oh. Okay. Let me. Yeah. Uh, let me turn down the graphics a bit, though. It's not looking bad. Actually, it should be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. We're good. Can I answer the phone though? Because like, low key, stop. Hello, yes, yes, hello, hello, what? Well, they will call back. Yeah, of course. Of course they will. Uh, is there anything else we can interact with here? A walkie-talkie? Or is that... What the fuck am I looking at? Alright. Interesting. Interesante. I speak a little bit of Spanish. You feel me? Speak a little bit of Espanol. Bread, a cleaned turkey, a whole hen, pig loins, lamb enter entrails, wine, three, vermouth, four. Okay. All right. 
Julio, nineteen ninety-seven. All right, it's July nineteen ninety-seven. So we're set in nineteen ninety-seven. Cool, cool, cool. This is about like five years before I was born. I did that math real quick. I'm good at it. I'm good at it. Is that all we're going to do with the TV? I thought... I think... I vaguely remember some of this from the demo. Mendez Loans. Third collection notice. Miss Susana Blanco Munoz. Reservoir Road 17. Okay. So that's just an address. Look at this baby picture. Oh, is this our madre? Esta es madre? How much can I interact with? I haven't been pressing E on everything. This is a little cute spot, though. You know, you got yourself a little nice house. Casa de Muñeca. I'm not even going to try it, bro. Wait, can I, can I read it? Or am I just looking at it? I was just looking at it. What can I interact with? This is a cute little game so far. It looks nice. But I'm ready to get into some of the action. I don't even think I explained how this game works. Uh, basically, something has happened to our main character, Iria. Um, and... Something has happened to her father, I should say. Not the main character herself. But something has happened to her father. And, bro, what can I interact with? I'm so sorry. Something has happened to her father. And she finds this camera that she then uh, can use to rewind time. Turn that off because I'm pretty sure this shit's copyright. And I'm not trying to get struck. Uh... Hey, hold on. Can I get a longer sample of that? No, play it again, please. Holy sh... That's just that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spot on. Spot on. Basically, uh, at some point in the game, we're going to find a camera that allows us to rewind time or fast forward. Uh, so... For who's this... From whom is this? T to inventory. Okay. So I have uh, a VHS tape in my inventory. Y'all youngins don't know nothing about that. I actually owned a VHS tape. My sister and I used to play Annie on that shit. Repeat. Y'all don't know nothing about VHS tapes. Hello. All right. Papa? Papa. <laughs> Padre? Hola, mi pequeña Hello, my little star. Did I die? What the? Bro, what just happened? I'm, I'm on my way to heaven. That's it. End of game. End of game, guys. My electricity, my TV blew a fucking fuse, and I died. End of game. <laughs> Pero, hola? What? Hello? Mama? Mom? I'm doing Mama? the voices. Dad, I'm doing the voices in case you don't want to, uh, in case you're just using my videos as ambiance. Because, you know, honestly, if you're just watching my videos for background noise, I still appreciate it. Like, this, it means a lot that you're even clicking on my video. So, if you're not looking at the screen, I'm giving you the voices right here and there. That way you don't have to read the subtitles. I got you. I'm looking out for my peoples. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely dead, though. I'm in an elevator straight to heaven. Please don't. Hello? Papa? Oh, crouch is control. That's a weird button. I don't like the way that that fits in my hand. What? Okay. Okay, this is a, this is pretty close to the demo. Hospital? From what I remember. 
you guys can't go back and watch the video as proof uh, <laughs> or anything because that video no longer exists on the internet whatsoever. Um, wow. It's one of those moments where I really wish I did keep some of my old videos because I like while the editing may not have been the best and while you know the content may not have been consistent even though it's not consistent now as is uh, no this makes no sense it, it really doesn't you know I was dead for a moment and then one thing I know I'm in my room watching a tape that was left for me next thing I know I'm walking to a bright light to an elevator and now I'm in a hospital an infinite loop hospital, which I remember from the demo because I'm actually supposed to walk back. And boom. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, what do I... Oh, there we go. It's one of those PT moments. Um, but yeah, this is one of those moments where I really wish I had kept some of the videos uh, from my old, my old self. I killed off the Crimson God to recreate a new persona that I actually like, um, a persona that I actually, you know, can vibe with. That one dude Chris is me. That one dude Chris is essentially Chris. But can you stop growling in my ear? I'm having a moment with my people right now. Listen, it's not cool. Okay, this is actually, this is actually kind of scaring me. Hello? Hello? Show yourself. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not... I'm not scared. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm not scared. Nothing happens in the beginning of the game. Like, nothing ever happens in the beginning of any video game. It's all just noises and, like... Like, false insecurities at first. Nothing too serious. Oh, I'm not scared. Mm, two doors. A fork in the road. I don't like choices. Especially when it's an unlocked door. Nope, see? Look, they're giving me choices. They're giving me different doors to walk through. Which one of these could lead to secrets. And the other one could lead to progress. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. See, this is what happens when you manifest things in life. Hey, excuse me. Can I talk to you for a second? Because I don't like the way that you're trying to scare me. Whew. You're not real. You're nothing serious right now. You're just, you're just noise. Nothing serious. Absolutely nothing serious. The bad one. Do not make any noise. So what if I make noise? So what? Huh? What are you gonna do? Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> okay, I got the keys. The keys to the door. Who is... Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. What's the noise? What's the noise is for? What's the noise is for? What is this? The howling. Uh, is that Ernan or Hernan? It, it's most likely Ernan. Ernan lives in a small village in Austrius. Austrius? Yeah, Austrius. He has been in love with Clara Luna since he was a child, but he can't bring himself to stay to say anything to her. One night, Ernan sees how Clara takes a man to her house and decides to spy on her. Witnessing how Clara transforms into a she-wolf and kills her victim as the night goes by more and more. Can you leave me alone? Stop growling in my ear. I'm trying. Bro. I'm about to throw hands with this monster. Like, honestly, I'm going to throw hands and I'm going to be the one to lose. As the night goes by, more and more of the townsmen disappear and more and more women join, join Clara in her thirst for blood. Erd and Nan will try to save Clara while avoiding being devoured by the she-wolves. Cool. Sounds like a great movie. I'm about to throw hands with some monster. Because if this bitch keeps growling in my ear, I'm going to have some prop, some problems. Hello? 
Ah! Help! 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 I can't run! Oh, you're still here. Okay, cool. cool. Oh! Go through the door, go through the door, go through the door, go through the door, go through the door! Go- Can I- Ma'am! 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 Ha, you're stupid. Ha, ah, you're stupid. You're stupid. Too stupid to even realize that somebody was running right in front of you. It does look a little laggy on... It's fine. I think it's fine. I'm noticing some lag. Is this my old bedroom? Or this is my old bedroom. There was no question mark to that. Okay, all right, cute little picture right here. There's the camera. And I think that's the camera that's actually going to be used. So this is uh, very, uh, very similar. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, hi. Cool, don't do that again. Thanks. La cámara de papa. Big preach. Dad's camera. He used to record everything with it. <laughs> everything? <laughs> Sorry, I made that joke in the original demo video. And because it's gone, I can actually <laughs> reuse it. Nobody can check me for it. Cue to equip camera. Yeah, so this is how it works, right? So you can fast forward. And things... Well, I seem to be taking time away from the teddy bear to give it to the camera. Oh, wow. Okay, that didn't explain that in the uh, in the demo. So you can fast forward time to take time from an object and then use that to rewind time for another object. So it's kind of like using up film. Interesting. Okay, they done, they, they done redefined some mechanics. I see you, black chili goat. Nice. Holy shit, this looks good. Where did the music go? I want the music. I want the music. I want the calm music. No? No? I don't get calm music back? It was nice before. It was soothing. Okay, so I'll take the time from this and then use that to move this out of the way. Ugh. That is clean. Okay, so assuming that I don't need to use all of my uh, all of my time. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of it so that I can at least like crouch. <laughs> I'm so smart. Hell yeah. That is so dope. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm feeling it now. I'm starting to feel it. Just as long as I don't have to interact with that monster thing for now, for the time being. Para Iria. Which means for Iria. However you pronounce your name. I'm gonna say Iria. Iria. Papa. Papa. Whoa. Father! Hello? Speak to me! Wait, is this one gonna explode too? Father? I know you haven't heard from me in a while. I'm sorry. You know I love you, but I can't come to see you. If you were watching this, I don't have much time left. I need your help, Idia. We can still be together. What do you mean by that? Hello! 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 Okay. Does nothing happen? 
All right, that's fine. Run up the electricity bill. Fuck this place. Run up the electricity bill. Keep the TV going. It's not even connected to an outlet. I don't know how it's doing that. Never heard of a wireless TV, bitch. Whoa. Nor TV Productions. Tape unveil the memories. Let's go. This game, I think it came out either yesterday or today. Most likely two days ago or yesterday by the time this video comes out. Because I am... It's 11 p.m. right now. I don't think I'm going to stay up for like three hours to edit this. I'm sorry. Let's go. Uh, I'm so excited to play this game. And this looks like real footage right here. Like It looks like they took the time out of their day to actually film footage for the intro of this game. I'm just gonna sit back and take it in real quick. Cause like, I've never actually experienced a game where I played the demo for it and then kept up with it until it's full release. I've always seen YouTubers play demos for games and then forget that it exists until they play like the full release version of it. But like, I get to experience something like that for myself. The Antumbria Hospital has been receiving patients since 1989, attending uh, to the nearby villages of the Vig Vigo area. Vigo? Vigo? It is, equipped, uh, it is equipped with an operating theater, radio agnostic rooms, intensive care, storage, and even a maternity ward. With capacity for more than 30 patients, the aim of its location is to bring patients closer to their families. But what if the families... Do not want to visit these patients. Why not? Why wouldn't they want to? What? What? Also, I also do want to point out that it said that the occupancy is 30 patients. Alright. Uh, let's see real quick. What can we... Is there anything we can interact with right away? Anything we can interact with right away? Nothing. That's fine. That's cool. It's alright. Hold on. In video games, you always want to check the bright areas for potential secrets. Hello. I'm Bate. Hello. So Dr. Abdullah has asked me to stay. There's a patient who was admitted uh, on the night between the 23rd and 24th. A 46-year-old man with double head trauma and blood loss. Damn. The point is, do you think he will make it past today? Absolutely not. It's for in case you need to in make me a room in the fridge or something. Let me know. I cannot read. What did that say? Some 46-year-old man did not make it past the next day. Uh, I'm not going to read all this, so I'm going to give you guys time. Oh, that's not that much. Fero de... Ominous wind in my ear. Fucking stop! The search for the Lago brothers widens. It is suspected that Pedro Lago, the leader of the mafia, may have fled to Portugal. Oh, sorry. It said press E to close, and I chose to escape. I chose to escape all my problems. Oh, sick. Okay, so I was supposed to come over here anyways. Whoa, what? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe maybe I can do something with the camera. Because it seems to have a bit of a time limit on it. Hold to pause. Oh! Wait, what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can pause things now? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I think I get it now. I get it, 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 I get it! Stop yelling at me! Gosh, mom. Okay, so I'll pause it. And I can't back up. I'm stuck on something. Okay. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. 
Oh, hell yeah. They make my pee-pee hard. All right, there's a lot of pills right here. Nice, nice. You know, we have raves all the time in hospitals. Oh, stop. Stop. Hello. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's nice and all. Uh, should I be looking at all these movies? I feel like The Howling 2. Okay, I don't want to read that right now because that's kind of going to waste my time. Um, but I'll, I'll give you guys a second to read that kind of stuff, you know, if you really want to. Uh, never whisper in my ear like that ever. Bitch, don't play games with me. Is it locked? Bitch. Let me in. Let me in. There's a lot going on here. Dear Alfredo. Hey, where the sauce and the chicken at? <laughs> where the sauce and the chicken at? Even with my many years of medical experience, what happened at the Santa and Pusa mine in all... See, it's these words that I don't know that mess me up. Like, I was doing so good in the first three, three words of the sentence. Will remain a mystery to me. I don't know where you got the data, but the auto but the autopsy I signed is clearly the patient died from the pre presence of muddy clay in his lungs. How the clay got there is unknown to me. If you are dealing with the people in uh, Antumbria, there are graves that are best to be left in peace. Even as Gaul Gaul Galicians, they are strange. This advice from a mentor and a friend please do not contact me any further on this subject dr bloss no i keep pressing escape to stop reading when it's e to close like e to close which i probably shouldn't close that because then i'm gonna forget that i went through that door and i'm gonna be like wait have i gone through this door already and then i'll be like oh shit yeah i did go who bro who the fuck put michael jackson in the freezer yo who the fuck put michael jackson in the freezer the fuses are missing but is that a crayon honestly bro i'm trying to figure out the same thing who the fuck put a crayon in the fuse box oh wait 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 wait, wait. hold on hold on hold on huh there might be some stuff that i can interact with with the camera like this for example Oh, okay, they're really making you like think about what can go where because in the beginning you could actually or in the demo I should say you could actually just like point your camera at whatever and it would like rewind Everything like that whole cluster right there in the demo I probably could have just like rewound time and everything would have shifted back into place so I actually like that it's making you You know like actually interact with every little thing so that you're not just you know speeding through it all it's giving you a chance to, you know, to really think about what you're doing. Locked, of course. Okay, locked doors mean safety. I like that. I like that. We eat those. Give me some more news, some more information, some more clues that I'm not going to understand. Katarina Minya Rulinha. I killed that. We won't be able to meet tonight. I have to stay late at night in the morgue and my wife is being needy. Tomorrow I'll make it up. I'll make up to you with Be Bicos, Bicos, where I know you like them. Okay, that one was a little lost in. Mm, stop doing that. That one was a little lost in translation. I think. Title: The Haunted Mind. Subtitle: Thirteen went down. Only one got out. Okay, thirteen went down. Only one got out. Oh my God! If I press escape one more time. All right, what is this? All right, Chris, press E to close, not escape. After evaluation by the psychiatrist at Vigio Hospital, it was confirmed that the patient is definitely suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Witnessing her father's accident had caused her to lose her speech for several months. Unfortunately, there was no possibility for her to be, to be seen by regular appointment, by a regular, with, by regular appoint. I'm assuming that says with a regular appointment at the hospital therapy. Oh, by regular. <laughs> by regular appointment at the hospital therapist before she regained her speech on her own. So there is no rely reliable diagnosis at the time. The rest is cut off. Okay. 
eat it closed. <laughs> I'm gonna stop assuming that uh, because this was created by a Spanish speaking group of developers that they don't know English. Because that is very rude of me. And uh, while there was one note that was lost in translation, I'll give y'all a second to read that. While there was one note that was lost in translation and didn't quite make much sense, does not mean that every, whoa, what, hello? Hello? Oh, I ran out of film. Uh, great, where do I get some of that back from? Oh, nice. That is honestly a really dope mechanic. I like that. Why is it? Oh, wait. I can pause time. I forgot. Can oh, I can I can't do that with that? What if I just run through it? Ow, 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 ow. Was that actually hurting me? Can I see my health? Uh, camera no worky. I mean, mirror no worky. Cool, cool, cool. Mirrors don't work in this world. Understand. Primer piso. First. That says first something. Cool. So if I go through this door. Is this locked? Uh, I was really hoping that this would be locked. Wow. Okay. There's a lot going on right here. There's a big package arriving today at 5 a.m., so we have to stay here again. Make sure we are alone, especially for Katarina. I've been... Oh, I really don't like the noises in my ears! I've been, to the party... I've been to the party place helping with the bags, and I've met the filmmaker. Turns out it's his house. He's got splashed by a pack... He got splashed by a package and almost threw up. He'll think it's tough that... I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know what I'm reading. Okay. Uh, wow, I've been recording for a while. Uh, but I don't want to stop. I never know where to stop with these games. I should have stopped at the intro. I should have stopped after the intro, I should say. Man. A lot going on. Okay, so by process of elimination, after going through everything and all the doors being locked... I have found that this is the only way I can really go at the moment. All right, cool. Lock doors. We like those. We eat those. There's a lot of like film uh, references and stuff, which I as whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did you scream? Why did you scream? Why did you fucking scream? Don't do that, idiot. Don't do that. Is this also locked? Cool. Great. Awesome. Uh. <laughs> By process of elimination and okay I have found that this probably has something to do with her past like her father was probably a filmmaker or something like that and something happened uh, there was probably an accident on set right and that one theorist right here okay here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna predict the end of the game right here we're gonna find out that all this stuff about films and TV shows and movies, all the like VHSs that we're finding are gonna have something to do with Idiot's past. All right, her father was a filmmaker, okay, and he was on set making a film. All right, she was there watching her dad do his work. All right, and something happened, like maybe a light fixture came down, crashed, killed him instantly, or maybe it's an Alec Baldwin situation. Somebody had a prop gun on set, shot it off camera. Or like shot it, you know, off uh, so that it, so that uh, anyways, okay. His dad, her dad died somehow. It was probably on set, and she has trauma from that. She was admitted to this hospital, and her father, right? She has like PTSD from seeing what happened to her father. The house that she was in was not actually her house. She just has like thoughts and memories. Why am I so bad at explaining this? Basically, what I'm trying to say is she's not actually living in a house in the beginning of the game. She was in the hospital and none of this is real. She has PTSD from what she saw that day when she was with her father on set. I remember the day I gave you that rocking horse. 
You mean this one? We spent the whole day playing knights and princesses. Dad, can I just say, until you fell, I still remember the look on your mother's face when, we, when she saw the blood. It was a lot of blood. She's got me trapped in this hospital. I need you to find me. Help me. Whoa, okay. Alright. Dad. Okay. Uh, Dad, I just want to say that this rocking horse cannot be all that special because I saw one, like, in the other room not too long ago. Uh, there's been, like, 17 rocking horses around here. Alright. Uh, this looks like a good place to stop for now. Yeah, I've been recording for about 40 minutes, so... Whew. All right, we made our predictions for what this game is about. Uh, based on that tape, I think it's my my theory is already botched. Maybe maybe we were both admitted into the same hospital, right? I got PTSD from seeing what happened to my dad on set, and he was admitted into the hospital because of what happened on set. The whole mom's got me trapped in here thing. I'm thinking that that monster may be a manifestation of how Idia sees her mom. Maybe her mom was like a, not a nice person. Maybe she was very abusive. And the monster that we see is probably how Idia sees or saw her mom as like a monster. I'm just theorizing. I have never been one to be very on the money with my theories, especially in video games. Movies, I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, a little bit better because they all have the same flow. But video games have been kind of different recently. They've been just built different. Um, I'm enjoying this game. I'm very, very happy that it's out. Like I said, I'm very glad that this is something that I could actually see come into fruition. I played the demo, kept up with the game, uh, and its development process for a long time. And so I'm very glad to see that this is out. It is on PlayStation 4 and 5 on Steam. I do not know if it's on Xbox. Um, I'll have to check on that. I am 100% sure it's not on Switch. But uh, yeah, this is Tape Unveil the Memories. If you guys want to continue, if you guys want to see me continue playing this game, let me know down in the comments below, okay? Uh, also, if you made it to the end of the video, comment VHS. Not that some of y'all even know what that is, but comment VHS in the comments if you made it to the end of the video. That's all I really gotta say. I love y'all. Stay safe out there. There's a lot of there's a lot of weirdos. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of monsters. A lot of people coming from the other side, the upside down. Uh, take it easy, though. You know, it's 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 a hard world out there. Just stay safe and take it easy. <laughs> uh, big buddy out.